Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This was lecture eight, process modeling and simulation, chemical engineering three to four. Uh, Dr. Bassam Al Hamad is with you. So today we are going to take uh, the last part of modeling and simulation. Uh, it's not the last part of modeling and simulation. It's, it's the last part of writing uh, model equations uh, for one of the systems that you're going to take today, which is also a search tank. But how? How? Uh, however, for two components. Uh, and then we are going to deal more with linearization uh, stuff and we are going to go to from the time domain to the S domain and state space domain uh, as we have uh, mentioned in our introduction lecture one uh, theoretical part. So what we are going to do today as we have said from last time that we want to model a search tank. And this search tank that we are trying to model, we are talking about only one component. However, however, I'm going to be selecting two components as if that I'm having an input molar flow rate that's getting in with YAI and YBI and then it's leaving out the system with YA1 and YB1. And of course, what I'm trying to target here I may target like two things. I want to control the pressure because this is a search tank. So I just want to make sure that the pressure here is dropped off at a, to a certain limit. And maybe I also want to look at my YA1. So the two things that I have in mind that I want to see how pressure changes with time. And I also want to know how does the molar fraction of the output do change with time. Okay, beautiful. So what we are going to do here, we are going to start with our overall mass balance as usual. So this is the overall mass balance. And from the overall mass balance, last time we got dp by dt, and we are going to see how we get that. And this is how we start. We start with the molar balance. So it is dn, sorry, so it's the overall, so it's dn by dt is equal to how much n in minus how much n is leaving up this out the system and uh, if i call it just one i'm going to call it one so that is qi that's the convention that we agreed with so it's qi minus q1 and n if we just recall that n is equal to pv over rt so if you continue our equation, I'll start writing with y because it's just clearer. So instead of n, I'm going to put PV over RT. So that will be PV over RT divided by DT is equal to QI minus Q1. Great. And we said that, well, volume is constant. And we also said that temperature is assumed or given, or it is given. Uh, to be constant to be constant and of course R is definitely the universal constant value so because all these are constant values you are going to have everything getting out of the term V over RT and we are going to have DP by DT DP by DT and since we called it a P1 I think so we I don't know why I said P1 for tank one because it's only one tank uh, uh, so because I said P1, I'm going to put just like P1, V1, T1, and just for uh, to be like uh, uh, to be consistent on whatever I'm going to use these ones. Okay, which is equal to to QI minus Q1. Beautiful. So that is DP1 by DT. So what is DP1 by DT? DP1 by DT is equal to RT1 over V1 into qi minus q1 and we already said that we can calculate the equations for qi and q1 and we can do that later should we do it later or now i think so we just can write it now if you would like so i'll write it in blue here on the side so qi is equal to alpha i into pi minus p1 and for q1 is equal to alpha 1 into p1 minus p2 i know in the equation uh, sorry in this in the, in the problem up here is going to say oh where is p2 
okay so as we said like definitely there is a system there's a system here that a column or whatever is coming after so there's a backup pressure definitely that comes from the column onto the search tank which i would say that it is p2 and if you go to the other side definitely there's also a tank where this is coming from so this is like a pressure coming with a certain pi pressure and there's there's another pressure with p1 so i think so i explained that in the, my previous lecture lecture number seven and in this of course i think so it's like it's very similar and we should go straightforward getting q1 and q1 so i have dp1 by dt okay great so i have this equation ready for me okay what is left and what is important also i need to calculate dya1 by dt and to calculate dy1 by dt if i'm talking about mass or motor fractions or or concentrations and so on i'm talking about running a component mass balance equation so running the component mass balance equation i'm going to start with the component mass balance so i have started with dn by dt and for the component mass balance equation i'm going to write dna by dt and dna by dt is equal to how much na is, is getting in and how much na is leaving out and of course this is equal to y a i into n n minus y a into n leaving out the system which is n1 dot and actually because we don't use the dots now this will be like y a1 into q i minus y a into q1 and this is equal to what to dna by dt and if we just recall that uh, now i will just want to get a term for na uh, so we know that n is equal to pv over rt and if you were talking about na so that will be pa over v over rt and pa is the partial pressure which is the molar fraction multiplied by the total pressure so na will be uh, equal to y a into p into v over rt very beautiful of written and we know that volume is constant t is constant and we have these two are variables the mole fraction and that even the total pressure will be changing as well so the equation will turn to be something like that it will be uh, v over rt which are constant values into the two terms that are variables dy ap over dt which is equal to y a i q i minus y a q one beautiful so that looks like exactly what i want to do in multiplying two terms together i will just keep them on one side and remove the the other term just you know, to confuse us uh, to the other side so that will be like rt over v uh, multiplied by y a i q i minus y a q one so multiplication of two variables will be y a into dp by dt i understand that this is p1 now because we're talking about the total pressure of that first tank so it will be p1 and if you also want to be more specific you can say y a1 but i'll just keep it y a just not for to cause any confusion so that that will be y a uh, sorry for that confusion here uh, going back so that will be y a dp1 by dt plus p1 into d y a by dt is equal to rt over v into y a i to q i minus y a into q1 okay beautiful and we already have the dp by dt term that was equal to from the earlier if you just go to the above here so we already obtained dp1 okay great so that's that is it here so that is the equation dp1 by dt is equal to rt1 over v1 into qi minus q1 so i'm going to write that equation i'm going to write that equation this will be rt1 over v1 into qi 
minus q1 into qi minus q1 beautiful and this is multiplied by what this is multiplied by y a this is multiplied by y a plus p1 into d y a by dt is equal to rt over v which is of course you're talking about t1 and v1 here into y a i q i minus y a into q1 beautiful so just to make some space here into q1 great okay so what do we have here if you just look at it oh beautiful we can see that there is some term there's a term that will be cancelled out here and this term that we can see that it will be cancelled out is the term rt over v multiplied by ya into qi okay and then we have rt over v multiplied by q1 into ya and that is the term that will be cancelled out so if we just look at it so this will be ya into rt rt1 over v1 into qi minus ya into rt over v1 into q1 plus p1 dy a by dt there's nothing changing in here is equal to rt1 v1 into i'm going to multiply this okay so this is rt1 over v1 to y a1 i sorry into q i minus i'm going to have rt1 over v1 into y a into q1 very nice so what you can see here you can see that this term here is exactly like this term here so they will cancel out and we are going to have a common factor here of qi of qi and rt1 over v1 and here's qi and rt1 over v1 so i think so we are getting to our final equation where this will be p1 into dya by dt is equal to the common factor which was qi into rt1 over v1 into ya1 yai sorry minus ya minus ya and and and, and the, the equation looks very beautiful or oh, the only thing we need to shift the p ter term here so it will be dya by dt is equal to qi into rt1 over p1 v1 into ya i minus ya and that is the final term that we obtained for how does the mole fraction change with time so we obtained how ch pressure changes with time and how does the mole fraction change with time so we achieved this goal and we achieved that goal why these two because it was very important for us to know how the mole fraction will change within this tank and how does the pressure will also change within this tank for safety reasons or for some kind of practical or chemical reaction reasons so these are the equations that we have obtained i hope that we are happy oh my god that is a red face okay i hope that you are happy Oh my god, that is not a very happy face, okay? I hope you are very happy now that we have achieved finishing lecture 7 and, and taking all of the model equations. Okay, we finished lecture 8. So we finished the CSTR and we also uh, finished the, 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 the mixture and we have finished the surge tank. And I think so by this time, if we know the model equation of all of these three, we are good. The next step, the next step is to go from time domain to other domains and solve our problems. So good luck and see you soon in our next lectures.